What's going on guys? Welcome to a very special Halloween themed episode. In honor of the holiday, we're playing Vampires. Now I wanted to make this deck as close to vampire pure undead themed as possible without throwing too much in it. It does have some cool little things that it does, but I don't have Horus in this. I know that pairs really well with this. I also don't have any Castiera in it. This is as close as I can get in fitting with the Halloween theme. Now going to the card by card, we are going to start with three copies of Vampire Familiar, two copies of Retainer that I'm running in this deck, um, as well as three copies of Vampire Ghost. The reason I'm jumping around right here is because these three cards uh, with Ghost, Dog, and Bat are essentially your your combo starter ghost summon it uh send one of these to the graveyard get the other one going you start doing your graveyard effects to basically get your end board this is this is the way you need to go um we got one copy of glow up bloom uh you send this to the graveyard you can banish it get a level five or higher zombie monster from your deck to your hand then you're kind of zombie locked but that doesn't really matter for the kind of play that we're going for this deck i do have two copies of maxi in here i was trying to think of other cards that i could possibly replace or add a little bit more power or take away or something but this deck at the end of the day it's not that great and it definitely needs its draws so we have two copies of maxi and they're gonna stay here you have one copy of uni zombie it is a great uh essentially extender um basically if you don't open with dog or bat um you can send the one there and you can start your combo off that way we are playing three copies of ash and one copy of ghost bell the reason we have ghost bell is in case uh we ash a maxi and they called by we can negate the called by um this deck will die to maxi because you need the summons uh now we're going on to one of the cool things that this deck can do we have denier in here we also have dasher down here um we are playing one copy of destiny fusion and a dpe in the extra deck uh just really one of those cool cars that you can uh add in here kind of throw in here and it doesn't take away and kind of adds more protection with a pop in the end board. Within, we're playing one copy of Mizuki to special summon a zombie from the graveyard. One copy of Necro World Banshee to set up our zombie world, which we are playing two copies of zombie world to get our real boss monster out in this deck. We are playing one copy of Shadow Vampire. It's a really cool card, really important for the uh, key combo to the deck. We're playing one copy of Furlane. Just Furlane alone is a great great card to have in a deck it's got a great effect you can summon it from your hand you can pay life points to basically give your monsters an extra attack boost it's it's awesome it's great um dasher we already went over we have vampire grace for her graveyard effect she's also a level six for our inboard monsters uh we are playing one copy of scarlet scourge basically if we do our combo correctly we'll be using him to target Vavoid to get it out of the graveyard to use uh its effect its effects basically is like when a monster activates its effect if there's a another of those cards in either graveyard you can negate it so that's that's uh it's little niche right there um then we're also playing two copies of jack o'bolan just to fit in with that halloween theme don't know how well that picture is going to be but he's the pump king man <laughs> he's the pump king but yeah this is an extender uh you can pitch glow up bloom you can pitch your retainer uh your familiar other of those and you can combo out uh you can help with that so this is good retainer i am running him at two and then our boss monster is the doom king baller's rock once we get necro world banshee to set up zombie world this thing can do damage it's a monster negate it's a monster banish once per turn it's really good and it's got pretty solid stats too um but now moving on to our spell cards we do have one copy of harpy's feather duster just to uh kind to help with that back row removal we are running one vampire's desire it's another good target for vampire ghost but you can also uh, target one of your vampires on the field and send the other piece if you're missing it to the graveyard to help your combo out some more uh, fusion destiny i think i said destiny fusion earlier my my bad uh, we are running the one copy of fusion destiny for dpe uh, pot of prosperity just to help get that combo rolling oh i'm running two copies of zombie world i know a lot of decks run one copy but this is important for uh doom king so i like to have two uh copies just in case we are playing one copy of vampire's domain you can pay 500 life points and get another normal summon um and then anytime your vampire monster does battle damage 
you gain the same as life points. So that's a pretty good card. Then we are running one copy of Super Poly just for some extra extra deck cheese. You love that. Two copies of Called by the Grave because again, Max C kills this deck. Uh, then we're running one evenly matched. This can be substituted for something else. I just thought evenly matched was a good going second because you need to full combo. Uh, this deck, you have to full combo in order to do anything. Then we have one Vampire's Domination, basically our Omni the Gate. Now moving over to our extra deck for our Super Poly target, we have Dragon Necro, Nether Soul Dragon. It's basically two zombie monsters. The idea of this is get Zombie World going, use Super Poly, take two of your opponent's monsters, bring this bad boy out, uh, and get a token. So it's pretty good. Next up is DPE himself. That's why we have our two heroes and our Fusion Destiny in there. He's a pop and he comes back every turn. Great card. You guys know him. Draco Berserker of the Ten Yi for a level 8. Eight synchro we can actually get level eights out pretty good um it's just a fallback option we have a baron de fleur just for the flex because we can't get it out beatrice lady of the eternal two level six monsters we use scourge and grace for this this card is key for setting up your combo to make sure you get zombie world and uh doom king out uh this card Shout out Farfa. Uh, anyway, Damper Vampire Sheridan. Basically, I have this in here because level two level sixes is a lot easier than two level eights. So that's why I'm not playing uh, Zombie Vampire in this deck as well. But this is basically a backup. You can uh, detach and send cards to the graveyard. Uh, we do have one copy of Superstar Slayer's Typhon just because I think it's a good card to have in it. <laughs> we are running one copy of Relinquished Anima. Uh, I just you can replace this with Lingaribo. I just like this card in here because I like the effect of taking uh, their monster and using it against them. You know, the whole vampire thing, you know. Uh, it just felt better with the theme. One copy of Vampire Sucker. One copy of Avenger Red Savior. Another good way to get Zombie World set up. Pretty Plant Verte. We're running this for our fusions. Uh, it can help. We either draw one or we can get this out and do it. It is also the target for DPE uh, if we do choose to go that path. But it works really well with this deck. Vampire Fascinator is our link level 3. Um, it's a very good going second card. You get her out. You can take a monster from your opponent's graveyard. Special summon it to your own field. Um, and that can either trigger a void or Grace's effect if they're in the graveyard or you can go ahead and link to uh, your link level 4 which is what I typically do um, we have uh, for our link level 4's Yuki Ana uh, basically whenever time a monster or special summon from the graveyard you can target one monster on the field changes attack to 0 and negate its effect so it's pretty good uh, my other link level 4 in here that we're running is access code talker uh, if you guys know you, you know access code man you can pretty much punch over anything with this card it does have another uh, secondary effect to pop so it's another good link for to have and then the last card in our deck is the underworld goddess of the closed world just for some removal and to have some more graveyard effects going on the board but yeah so that is the deck that's the card by card um the first replay that we're gonna jump into is just showing you guys the full combo and then the replays after that is just testing it out in the wild if you guys like this type of content make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any future uploads now let's head to the replays